and what is going on everybody so welcome back to a brand new video on the channel so in today's video we are going to talk about james harden is expected to sign a short-term deal with the 76ers now before we get started in today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that like button to have my rank on youtube and for the algorithm to me push out my new videos also hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on so guys will be instantly notified when i upload a new video multiple videos couple game machines or occasional live streams also again in the comment section down below uh let me know what you guys thoughts and, and opinions on james harden signing a short-term deal with the philadelphia 76ers also you guys can check out all my social media and the spotlight sports network's social media which will be linked down below in the description so go check those out go give us a follow also huge shout out to the people at spotlight sports Network for partnering with me so let's keep this partnership going so with that being said Let's hop right into it. So, so according to, earlier today, uh, Bleacher Report put out uh, an article. Credit to Jake Fisher. Uh, we'll link this article down below in the description, uh, so you guys can check out check this article out for you guys, for yourselves. But Jake Fisher uh, uh, titles this article uh, "Latest NBA Intel." Sources say James Harden will sign a short term extension with the Sixers. Now, before we kind of get get into the article, uh. Obviously, I feel like, you know, so a lot of Sixers fans may not be, uh, may not want to uh, see Harden, you know, you know, sign an extension with, with the, the Sixers. For me, I just want to see, right, try to at least run the back one more time. If it doesn't work, then we can just let him walk um, after that. But kind of going forward, uh, Jake Fisher goes on to rights um, two weeks from the beginning of the of NBA free agency on June 30th. Actually, 6 p.m. East EST, uh, that all signs that are pointing towards uh, James Harden that is returning to the Sixers on a shorter-term contract extension, which lead uh, sources has told uh, Breach Report. Um, and as he also goes to say, Harden and Sixers leadership are aligned on one clear directive. Sources said that the franchise's best opportunity to compete for a championship star starring Joel Embiid as well as Harden's opposite optimal opportunity to earn his first NBA ring with uh, resides with hard and playing in Philadelphia in Philadelphia for the foreseeable future. So yeah, that's always been like the big uh, number one directive for, especially for Harden and you know, the Sixers is trying to win a championship. Um, my, the only issue that we saw with Harden is not showing up in the postseason. Had some good regular season games, but just did not sh just really disappeared in the in the postseason. But in the article, also article goes on to say that Sixers ownership, though, has been resistant uh, to the idea of giving Harding a full four year maximum contract extension beyond his 2022 23 option. And sources told be but Bleach Report or the five year deal that Harding would be eligible for if he just chose chose to decline his four, $47 million player option. Now, that's something I want to kind of want to break down. Uh, Harden did say earlier in the year, or earlier since getting traded here to Philadelphia, uh, he st stated that he is going to opt into his $47 million player option, so which allows him to at least get paid for that for that season, but he will be eligible, say, you know, for a four-year max. Which I don't, th which I feel like the Sixers ownership is, is actually. I kind of agree with the Sixers ownership. I, I think Harden doesn't really deserve the full the uh, max, but it is going to be a short term. From what I've understood, is I, th I think it might be a two year term, a two year deal. Um, the numbers would be not well. The numbers are unknown at at this exact point for James Harden. Um, do I think he might do? If he could come back healthy and you know, you know, try to take care of himself, I think this team could be a pot, could actually run it back one more time. And but like I said, if it doesn't work out, then just you know, cut just you know, try to find a way to flip it at the trade deadline. And that's just how I would see it. Um, but it did, the article, like I said, about the two year extension, but and it did say signing perhaps a two year extension after his option season to create a new three year framework. Uh, would also provide provide Harden with greater optionality for his own career. Um, yeah, it's like I said, I think it's a, like I said, it is a two year deal. Now the question is, 
what's the what's the value going to be, which is very, like I said, is unknown at this point. Um, but yeah, that's you know this is where we're at, especially when, regarding James Harden and his contract extension. Now, with that being said, uh, what do you guys think about uh, James Harden about to sign a two-year uh, short-term deal with the Philadelphia 76ers after his uh, player option kicks in? Drop your thoughts and reactions in the comment sections down below. With that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports Talk Podcast. I'll see you guys in the next video.